Abola Tinubu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC on Saturday, reacted to the viral video of him meeting with Asiku Abubakar, former vice president in Abuja. Tinubu cautioned Nigerians making an issue out of the meeting with Atiku. The APC leader, national leader, explained that he only exchanged pleasantries with the former president's candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, at the airport. Tinubu admits and exchanged pleasantries with Atiku, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party at the Inamdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja on Friday. Atiku had arrived from the United Arab Emirates at the same time that Tinubu was within the airport premises doing what he was just there. Upon his arrival, the former Lagos State Governor had walked towards Atiku as he alighted from his vehicle and very and they exchanged pleasantries. Despite political leanings and different party affiliations, both prominent politicians are known to be long time allies. But some Nigerians, while reacting to the exchange of pleasantries, cautioned others against trusting politicians. However, Tinubu has asked those who are not happy that he greeted Atiku to have a rethink because as they are friends, he made the remarks through his spokesman, Tunde Rahman, in a tweet titled on the Ashiwaju Tinubu Atiku video at Abuja Airport. Rahman wrote, former Vice President Atiku had arrived first and was in his car about to leave when Ashiwaju Tinubu arrived. As he was informed about him, Ashiwaju Tinubu walked up to Atiku vehicle to exchange pleasantries with him. Those making an issue out of this noble gesture should have a rethink. For the life, for the life of me, are they saying if two persons know each other and are friends, they must not greet each other, other as mature persons again because they find themselves in opposing political parties. If that is their thinking, this is a warped idea. Really? Huh. Wiped idea. Like seriously? Uh huh. You what you have planted, you must you must reap what you have planted. Because you planted all of these things. Yes, people will follow it through like that. So I don't know why you should be if it is just greetings and people are just whatever. So why would you be bothered? Of course, like they always say uh, that a uh, a clear conscience, fear no accusation. If you know that it is just a pleasantry, so why should you be bothered? Did they tell you that uh, you went to go and uh, shoot him or you killed him or whatever? They said you guys met because we know what you guys all always stand for. Yes, if you stand for whatever you stand for, you must stand for it because all this uh, divide and rule, you guys started it in the first place. So definitely people must follow it like that. All this propaganda here and there. Before you guys came on board in 2015, you said many, 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 many things against the uh, ruling party then. And now you have been given the opportunity to rule. You cannot even do anything. And you guys still want to be con you want to continue to be deceiving people. It doesn't work that way. If you just greeted him, I don't know what is uh, the, your problem. Why should you even reply in the first place? Why should you respond in the first place? Because, of course, a lot of things must have been going on. Because uh, hey, maybe your Because from the video, you know, thank God that he's not even denying it. Oh, maybe it was an old video or it was doctored. He said it was even at, that, at the airport at that time when Atiku came. We saw the video now. So... Nobody but Tata. Nobody but Tata at all. So, let people think what they want to think. Just the way you guys always use a divide and rule tactics to manipulate people. So, you know that's how, that is how it's a, how it ought. So, don't be bothered. Uh -huh. If not greeting, not greeting. Uh -huh. uh, Nigeria will say, forget it. We know what we know. We know what we know. You don't need to come and tell us uh, otherwise. We know what we know. <laughs> So don't just even bother to try to explain yourself. Uh, before you know it now, something will continue. Uh, uh, many water will pass under the bridge. Tinubu and Atiku are the greatest enemies of Nigeria. They should never be voted for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let the people continue. Uh -huh. People who want to continue to be following them, they are, they are on their own. Mm -hmm. Those who are still believing them, they are on their own. So why should they, anybody be bothered? Whether they greet themselves or they do not greet themselves, we know what they do. And just like I've been saying, they will come on the pages of newspaper and begin to say, "Oh, this one has done this, this one has done it, done this, this one has done that." And you think people just think it, uh, you know, take it like that. And you come back again, "Oh, it is not like that." Oh, they will still follow you. You think they are robots? And that was exactly what uh, happened in 
Edo State, when Oshomole thought he could use the same magic, the same logic, the same uh, tactics to manipulate people. But people say, no, 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 no. It's not going to work. It will never work. We are not going to subscribe to that. Even the Hoba Obini was like, why are you people like this? Today you will tell us this person is good. Tomorrow you tell us, oh, no, it's not so. Who are you? Why? You are confusing everybody. That was what the Oba said. You guys are confusing everybody. Oshomole will come and say, oh, praise uh, Obaseki to high heavens. Ah, if not for Obaseki. Oh, his administration, his regime wouldn't have been perfect. Students have uh, made progress that he made. This and this and that, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Yeah, everybody say, oh, yeah. Again, he come out again and say, the man for your result to thank God now the man has been vindicated. And they are going to even pay him one million naira for you wasting the time and the court time. Oh, we say, ah, you know, how to say Chinese excuses. Eh, I didn't know eh, when this man was working with me for eight years, he was working with you. He didn't know that eh, he, didn't, he didn't tell you that eh, he didn't have results. And he constituted the committee. And some eh, learned people, according to the professors, they checked that eh, committee and they did the screening. At the end of the day, they removed the man that is, well, is, he, he, was, he was disqualified invariably. At the end of the day, he came out again. The Eze Yamu that he has used math to tear up and down. He came out and said, oh, Eze Yamu this and that. Eh, people, you know, who just giving excuses. Things that even you cannot be found among children. Not to talk of youth. And he thought that people would just f follow him. Like that. I think that was the first time that the Nigerian people, they were able to stand against, stand up to all these uh, politicians who thought that uh, they can continue to manipulate people. They are still using that divide and rule tactics. So you don't expect people, Sinubu, you don't expect people to say, yeah, yeah, just like that. Because you guys always say, no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So you have people, leave people to think what they, they think. Or maybe you think that uh, uh, your people, now your, of course, because he knows the implication of that in his party not because of the people because you people don't even bother about the people what the people feel or what the people think or what people are going through in the first place so i don't know why you are coming out to say this but when they talk about full and yes now you begin to trivialize it and begin to say tell us a cock and wood stories so if you no permanent enemy no permanent friend so what are you saying so you people people should, people should of course they believe that say, yes something is happening because from the video people could read through and it's you know it's self-explanatory so thank god you are not saying that it was doctored or it didn't just happen now this and this and this and that so guys let's hear your opinion and let's have your take on this thank you